Hello everyone, this is Video Reborn. Um, this is a review of the Motorola Atrix fingerprint scanner. As you can see, this is the first Android device that houses a fingerprint scanner um, that you don't need to tap your pin, you don't need to um, draw your security pattern. All you need to do is just shut shut when your phone is like asleep or shut down. Once you turn it on like this mode, you swipe your finger like that from top to bottom, then your phone will be unlocked. So right now I'm going to go through the process of how to set it up. And I'm going to demonstrate you that how this fingerprint scanner it's a lot better than most of the laptops fingerprint scanner on the market where you can even have a very wet hand and still able to be recognized. So um, let's go just check it out under settings. Actually I should go here. Menu, settings, and then you go to um, local and security and then set up screen lock. Okay, and um, there's the fingerprints. You do fingerprints, ask you to set up the uh, pin number in case if you are unable to scan your finger. One, two, three, four, for example. And then move on to confirm. Okay. And right now, it asks me to use my right hand to do the fingerprint, which is right index finger. So if you get a check mark, good swipe. Do it again. Good swipe. Do it again. Good swipe. So now I have to use my left hand to do it again. Left hand fingerprint. Swipe your left index finger on the read on the reader. So again, top to bottom. Swipe. Successful. Do it again. Swipe. Successful. And do it again. Okay, now it registered my fingerprint successfully. You can manage your fingerprint or other security by going to settings, local security, chain screen, etc. Okay, now I can um, quickly go through the main menu, sleep the phone, lock it, and guess what? I swipe my finger. Oh, swipe too short. Okay, I do it slower. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me do it one more time. Okay. Swipe it. All right. Now let me do it with my right hand. Okay. Swipe. Unlocked. Okay. Now there's a, a little um, problem here. For example, if I unlock with my finger and I swipe the index finger, it does not unlock the phone. So it does the pin. In case you have your hand it's not available to swipe that part you know or for example if you're on a dock okay like if you're on a dock sitting on the dock and you want to swipe your finger you can't do that another unfortunate thing it's uh, sometimes I would like to swipe the other way it does not allow me to do it because of the um, fingerprint uh, recognition techniques so um, now this is my demonstration wet hands on the fingerprint scanner uh, as you can know that uh, the fingerprint scanner is integrated on top of the power sleep button. The beside it is the um, noise cancellation microphone, which the microphone is at the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to wet my hand real quick. <clears throat> Just hold on a second. Now I'm going to wet my index finger. This is wet right now. Alright. It's still wet. A little bit wet. And let's try to moist. Can see if I can uh, unlock it. It works. See that? It's got water here. Try that on your laptop. Most of them don't work. Okay. Do it again. Wet hand. Wet finger. That's perfect. Do it again. One more time. Wet finger. Totally wet. Alright. Not too wet though. Alright. Swipe it. 
Ah, see? It works again. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Video Reborn. Over and out about the Samsung, no, sorry, the uh, Motorola Atrix 4G fingerprint scanner with wet finger. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, I was talking about Samsung, right? That's my Samsung Captivate. It does not have fingerprint scanner. So, yeah, just to let you know. Thank you. Bye.